Today I'm going to get into trying to make a tube bender that actually works. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll see that I had a go at modifying the old pipe bender to bend tube. Uh, and basically I tried everything you can think of and it just doesn't work. It doesn't work well enough. It doesn't work to a standard that you really need to build a roll cage to the safety specs of a car. So um, I bit the bullet and realized the main issue I had was that the die was incorrect. So I bought the correct one and three quarter inch die from the affordable bender, which is uh, what I need to build the roll cage in my old uh, 911 here. So I now need to make the actual bender itself to uh, house this die and um, get the job done. So we'll see how it goes. All right, the first step was to go through, and I've done a bunch of measuring, and I'm gonna use this bottle jack out of the original pipe bender. So I've had to measure the height of the bottle jack. I've had to measure a lot of these diameters of the die and how everything's laid out. The measure the, uh, the, the roll, and I'll show you where that goes later. And basically, I've come up with a whole bunch of these calculations. And forgive my really dodgy maths, but basically, I added up all of I've drawn out a rough design, and I've also done a bit of a quick 3D drawing so I know roughly which, uh, where all the pieces of steel will go, uh, so I know where which overlap is where, and a bit of quick maths to try and work out the lengths of the sides of a triangle. If you can't remember your maths from school, uh, don't look at me because it's probably wrong. But uh, basically, uh, I've got my rough plan here of what I'm going to build, so now I've got my measurements, it's time to start cutting things out. Alright, so I've clamped the upright and the lower section with the 90 degree magnetic clamp and just doing a rough measurement. Amazingly, my, uh, my maths has worked out and that is the exact right uh, length, 763 millimetres, give or take a mil or so, uh, of what I wanted. So now it's a matter of marking out how I cut this next piece so it's accurate. To get the angles right, instead of trying to measure angles and work them out because that's getting beyond my uh, small brain's mental capacity, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another piece of tube, line this up here, and line it up over the top, and then mark along here, and that gives me my angle. And on the bottom, same again. Time to uh, tack it all together. Now I'm uh, far from the world's greatest welder, but we'll just uh, see how it goes. It helps when you put the earth on. All right, and that is tacked together. All right, now I need to mark out my holes as per my diagram. All right, let's drill some holes. these two pieces of rod which are going to be my pivots going through here and here and I've got to just weld these one inch washers on the end one inch rod one inch rod washers start running you through what I've been up to so basically I've cut out a plate and this stand is going to sit and be bolted to this plate so I've drilled it out and I've tapped out these holes and what I've also done is I've gone through and I've made a couple of these little brackets and basically what they're going to do is they're going to go mount onto the die like this so the die can pivot on them 
and this plate is going to get welded to that and then this will sit on top of there all right and there we go we've got the uh the base plate tacked up so that it can work like so all right basically that's looking pretty good so i've got this just uh sitting together now it's not uh completely done but uh you can if you can see there that the, the plate that i've put onto the uh the die is sitting there and basically this jack will bolt onto the plate and start up here and force its way down and push the jack down and the tube will run over this lower roller here if you can see that and it will bend the, uh, the tube hopefully the way I want it. Now another thing I can do is um, basically as this gets down to the bottom if I kept jacking it would just break things because basically that's the limit of the uh, force going this way the force is then starting to push forward if i want to get a little bit more of a uh, an angle i can drill some more holes later on a bit further up here so we can start the bend a bit earlier and that way we can follow through the the full length of the die so now we have to start building the cap that this jack mounts into up on the top of this uh, the frame here <laughs> So we have it all together. Basically, as you can see on the back here, I uh, put the original springs off of the uh, tube bender onto this pipe bender. I just did some bodgy welded on some washers up here and did some holes through the, the base plate of the jack so that it will pull the bender back after it's uh, gone through its motions. And basically, don't look too closely at the welds because they're far from the uh, the prettiest things in the world, but they'll uh, they'll do the job, I hope. So it's pretty much ready for a trial run. All right, time for the moment of truth. Let's see if this time around it, I can actually build a tube bender that works. All right, the tube's in. It's all bolted in down that end, so. Let's see how it goes. There we go. Oh, beautiful. And that is what we were after. Nice and smooth, very little distortion. Perfect. Finally, a tube bender that actually works. I'm uh, really happy. Uh, the welds and stuff, I'm far from the greatest welder. They're not the prettiest things in the world, but uh, it's doing the job. It works as designed to. You know, a very nice, clean, smooth bend, uh, very little distortion of the pipe, no kinking or anything like that. So I'm, I'm very happy with, uh, with the result. So uh, now I can actually build a roll cage. All right, guys. Mm -hmm.